need to plan. I, 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 yes, I was just going to say that. You can <laughs> mute yourself for a second and please clap, 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 clap. Despite the short time, he has put in so much. Thank you so, so very much, sir. Uh, I'm going to allow Femi Boyede to comment. Thank you so much, um, Lady K, and thank you so much, DG. Um, we commend you. I'm sure you can see in the comment section already for all these lofty um, programs that you are busy putting together. And I know that your list is expanding by the day. Um, just to mention, I know Titi Ojo is on this call and I welcome her. Uh, she's somebody who will who is very well aware of what I'm about to talk about. And this has to do with your energy for interagency collaboration. A lot of the challenges that Nigerian exporters, now please, um, let's read when I'm talking about Nigerian exporters in this edition of our program, I'm talking about indigenous, nano, micro, uh, small and medium exporters. I'm not talking of the giant uh, exporters now. A lot of the challenges they are facing are possible, I mean, have their solution in a very virile and well-coordinated interagency collaboration. For example, we are talking about um, registration of products and what have you. I'm making this comment because in your presentation, you did talk about your discussion with NAVDAC. NAVDAC does not have any reason to continue to allocate NAVDAC number to 1 million people doing the same product. Even if it is in terms of to generate revenue, a smarter move that will help Nigerian MSMEs in every country of the world is for NAVDAC to sit down with other agencies and determine a standard quality parameter for every export product out of Nigeria. Let's take, for example, Gary. Instead of allocating um, NAVDAC number to 1 million different producers of Gary, if NAVDAC were to work with you, because you have been the one in grassroots enterprise development, women enterprise development, youth enterprise development, you know where these people are. NEPC, you have entered into that uh, agreement. I'm privy to it, and I commend it very well. And I'm actually excited that it's going to help the MSMEs a lot. So you are already establishing a tripod. Hopefully, at some point, we are going to be able to bring Nexim into it so that MSME exporters can also go with the certificate of participation in your enterprise development program and their export, uh, exporters registration certificate and go to Nexim, for example, and say we are export ready. However, back to NAVDAC. If NAVDAC decides that the standard quality allowed for Gari out of Nigeria is X, Y, Z, and there is a sheet for this. All NAVDAC needs to do is to send this to FDA in America, to CFIA in Canada, to whatever the representative agencies are, CBI in Netherlands, and whoever they are, and say, when Gary says from Nigeria, this is what it contains. Okay. And then, just a minute, Lady K, please. And then for everyone who is shipping out Gary, the same NAVDA can now say the export certificate for this particular product that will accompany your export documentation is for $5. Every export out of Nigeria today has certificate of origin issued by NASIMA. So if we were able to do a NIT pro, an interagency meeting engagement and this, and then we come up with these kinds of ideas that will embellish and enable what you have in mind, DG. I thought to make this as detailed an illustration as possible, 
uh, so I, I permit me to say I know that your your brain works around the clock so that something can come out in your interagency uh, 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 research and um, engagement that will make life easier for the Nigeria MSME. Till today, you've been a participant, an active participant of the MSME clinics that is uh, under the office of the vice president. Okay. And we should not shy about it. Everywhere you have gone, the major complaint has been against NAVDAC. Let's help them. Let's help Nigeria MSMEs. Now that we have you, we are going to bring our challenges to SMEDA and hope that you are going to be able to interact with all these other agencies. Sorry I took so long. Thank you so very much, Fabio. Before he makes a comment, I know he's going to be leaving um, in a very few minutes. I want to quickly allow Bosu Solari and Emmanuel Macaulay to ask their questions so he can answer the questions and land up at the same time. Thank you so very much, uh, Femi Boyede, for always being a, an advocate. Bosu Solari, are you there? Please, you are going to make your question very fast. Are you there, Bosu? Unmute yourself. Emmanuel? Emmanuel Macaulay? Or meet yourself, you have your hands up. Are you hearing me? Yes, we're hearing you. Okay, I have to, these two hands up. One second more than, okay, Emmanuel, are you ready? Emmanuel Macaulay, omit yourself, please. You are muted. Omit yourself. Boston, please omit yourself as well. Otherwise, you can type your questions or comments. Uh, Mike Udo, unmute yourself and quickly, you have a... Uh... Okay, 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 okay. Can I go ahead? Please go ahead. What's your name, please? Macaulay. My name is Manuel Macaulay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, DG, for finding time to attend. Uh, to be on this platform and you all other protocols. Yes. Uh, DG, my major challenge is uh, we are contending with multiple taxation over regulation or multiple regulation. Then there is this issue of where my, Mr. Boyede was raised, raised the issue of NAVDAC and so on. There are other agencies that one single product raw material we have to bring into this country. We will pay a permit, pay for a permit as we pay two, three million naira for a permit to bring in the raw material. When even the custom duty, the cost of the permit is more than the custom duty that we pay. So those are challenges. It's a, a, one particular example is SON. We, the cost of permit, at times is about as much as two, three million naira, which is more than even the custom duty we pay for a particular raw material. So I want you, because uh, I, I raised up this, I raised this issue because you said that if you have to go cap in hand to meet some other agencies, sister agencies to address, those are the challenges we already have it. And it is telling very badly on us. That is my question, that is my own. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Bosu and Mike, are you unmuted now? Yes, okay. Yes, good evening, ma'am. I'm uh, unmuted now. Uh, well please, done. Uh, well. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Bosu Sholari. I'm a member of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I'm a farmer and an agro processor. Thank you very much, sir, for a very Good job, well done. I won't waste time again. My intervention is still on NAVDAC. What will SMIDA help us to do? Seven countries have been allowed now to test run after. The, uh, NAVDAC is allowing uh, processors to produce only five, to register only five products. Yes. If we continue like this till next year, when after maybe it takes off, how many products are we going to take to the market? And then Nigeria may soon become a dumping ground. So what will 
Smida help us to do between now and next year so that NAFDA can allow or some of us have bigger facilities that can do more than five. But because we are micro, they are saying no. If you want to do the sixth one, they say you must migrate to small. What is the definition? It is uh, Smida that classifies, the classification is in their hand. But NAFDA is refusing that it is five products. If you have to do the sixth product, you will pay 90,000. So please help us, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Mike Udo? Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Um, Good evening. You have 30 seconds. Michael, yeah. My name is Michael Udo. I actually based in uh, Minnesota, United States. And I, have, I own a grocery store. And I have been uh, importing things from foodstuff from Nigeria. One of my biggest challenge is with NAVDAC. Okay. Because NAVDAC is requiring you know, my business partner in Nigeria to register every product. This is very, very unfair. We, we export more than 50 items from Nigeria, full stop and going through registration by each product, that is a very big burden to us. In America here, you know, FDA, for, for instance, you only registered your facility. Whatever product that you are producing, they come for annual inspection once every year. You don't have to register every product. So please, we really need help in this area so that they, we can register a facility instead of the product that you are processing from that facility. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ofonash uh, Udofia, the last uh, question from you. Please, can you unmute this person? Ofonash Udofia. Please go ahead. Shayi. Unmuted. Okay. Hello? Please go ahead. You have the floor. Yeah. My name is Ofo Nudofia. I work for the Institute of Export Corporations and Management. I want to thank um, the DG for such an opportunity. I also want to thank Mr. Femi Boyode. And I think uh, we are meeting to continue what we've been saying over the years, sir. Um, not because not I'm, I'm repeating issues. I we were trained by United Nations International Trade Center in Tanzania as it had to do with um, packaging, and we've been doing that. We have over 200 women we trained, among which some of them were the ones that showcased their product to WTO TG. Apart from even food quality, the standard of packaging in NAVDAC is a problem. You go to a crime center and see what they've given NAVDAC number and come to Lagos or come to Protocol, there's no SOP on packaging. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking from my office, had it been possible, I should have shown you um, the, the, the packaging material they use in Aquaibum, what they use in Rivers, what they use in Lagos, and what they use in Abuja. So as I want to claim your indulgence and with what you are doing so far. Can we also, apart from the product quality itself, can we also hold NAVDAC on to discuss Packaging so that what you are getting in Lagos should be the same SOP what we have in Abuja, in Nasarawa, in Akwaibom, so that everybody. I went to another number in one of these estates. I was shocked. A clerical staff was condemning what I have done. Even the one he brought out does not have mandatory and voluntary information. Yes. Okay. So please, I really want to uh, also look at that issue of packaging. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Elizabeth Nwanko, I see you acknowledge you, but we will allow him to answer all the questions together. And if he still has enough time, Elizabeth, I'll bring you in. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. You have the floor. Uh, I'll mute. You need to unmute yourself. No, it's not me. It's okay. from the host. We are okay now. Please oh, go ahead. Okay. It's from the host. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, well, let me appreciate Mr. Boye for, uh, because I think he sensitized this issue of NAVDAC, that everybody is now <laughs> that everybody now hammered on. We actually know this is a big issue. I have been going around the country 
I was in Lagos last week. I was in Akwa Ibom day before yesterday, but I came back yesterday to talk to um, stakeholders because I want to harvest a lot of input so that we can come back to the drawing board and see uh, how, because we now we have had where the shoe pinches SMEs, and then we now come back to the drawing board and see how we can help. And topmost in all the conversations have been the issue of NAVDAC and so on. So one major thing that we will do, uh, there is a platform, uh, the National Council on SMEs, that both NAVDAC and SON are members, is chaired by the vice president. Um, we are initiating a meeting very soon. This will be topmost on the agenda. The little that NAVDAC have done recently, before we started the MSME clinic, uh, MSME clinic actually started because of NAVDAC, because the vice president went for an exhibition at Hilton and every exhibitor kept talking about NAVDAC. So he called us to a meeting and based on that meeting, he said, look, let's go around the country. Let's have a forum where we have NAVDAC on ground, have SON, and he wanted all the heads of the agencies to be on ground. So after the first five clinics, uh, NAVDAC was able to reduce some of the costs. And that was when they also allowed that people can produce certain things in their backyard instead of having the usual specification of three rooms and all that. So moving forward, uh, we intend to also take some of these things up based on facts uh, at the highest level of government so that they can intervene. Uh, because we will try and talk to NAVDAC, but it's better if it comes at the level of the National Council on SME. And if they see that what everybody is saying is this issue of NAVDAC, NAVDAC. And then there is also the issue of uh, NAVDAC will certify a company. Son will still ask you to come and certify, you know, based on the same product. So all these things have to be streamlined. So we will try as much to play our advocacy role and uh, we will see what we can do at least in the next few months. But I will. I want to also, I will discuss with Mr. Boye. I want us to see how we can also bring somebody from NAFDA or if possible NAFDA DG on this kind of program. Um, if they agree to come on this kind of program so that they can also hear, you know, what people are saying. Uh, but we will try our best. Uh, virtually most of the, um, most of the inputs that I had are not really questions like that. They are suggestions and for us to see what we can do in terms of multiple taxation, which is beyond us directly, uh, in terms of registration of products, where NAVDAC will say you cannot register more than five products. Honestly, it's ridiculous, you know. And I don't see any reason if you are like uh, uh, our friend uh, from the US said, you know, there should be a way that once you register your facility, if you are turning up, if you are turning out six, seven, eight products, you don't have to that. You have to get a separate NAVDAC number for every product. These are some of the things, uh, the feedback that we'll take away from uh, this webinar. And I really thank uh, everybody for their contributions. We will try and play our advocacy role and we'll go a step further to engage at the highest level of government to see uh, what can be done to get NAVDAC to listen to uh, SMEs and see what they can do to relapse some of this. Because at the long run, the nation is loose, you know. So I don't really know what would be NAVDAC gain. Um, if uh, what you are doing at the end of the day, the multiplier effect is negative on uh, um, the what well, you are trying to develop the system at the same time, you are bringing negative uh, impact to the economic uh, system. So it's really, really an area that uh, we will look at. Everybody, you know, is concerned. Taxation, issue of uh, overregulation, NAVDAC, SON, these are the major issues in the front burner and we will take it up. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so very much. Before I allow, um, I bring in Femi Boyede again to allow you to go. Um, I can still take uh, one or two questions. Oh, awesome. That yes. is very great. I think I have uh, Elizabeth Nwaku. Uh, I saw your hand up earlier. Are you still there, please? Um, before we 
before she comes in. I want us to kind of try to refocus. We can see that NAFDAQ is on top of the list now, yes. However, so many points were raised earlier. Some of them really attracted my personal attention. Uh, we have the non-collateral loans, but people kind of, they're not really looking at that. That's huge. Single digit interest rate. Yeah. Now the access to farmlands, helping with the clearing. I myself, um, I'm a victim. I, I got the cause of land, acres and acres, and um, that was a big problem for me. So if this is uh, one of the services that are being uh, offered, advocacy loans to assist farmers, so many things being done by Smedan. Please, let's try and focus on those things for now. I believe Femi Boyede is looking at bringing him back because we really have a lot, a lot um, to really gain from uh, Smedan. So Elizabeth Iwako, please, uh, can, can you unmute yourself or we have to unmute you? So unmute me. Okay, yeah, yeah, muted. It was very wonderful to see you again. Okay. Even, Good though, afternoon, we, everyone. even though we don't see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, please. <laughs> yeah, to preserve the connectivity. Good I can understand. Everyone. Uh, thank you all for the good work you do. And thank you, DG Mizan. Uh, Let's focus on the NAVDAC, as we are saying. Can we talk about the laboratory aspects? Can we have NAVDAC allowed a public analyst to undo the laboratory analysis instead of them doing it? And it's taking so much of time. If you go to the medical line in UCH, UCH don't do the laboratory analysis. They give you specific laboratory that you go to that is recommended. And it is the result from such laboratory that they use in attending to patients. The same thing can be applied in terms of laboratory analysis with NAFTA. And like they have said earlier, in terms of facility uh, 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 number to be used so that we can do multiple products. And in one of the things that the DG said is that there's going to be like a cluster where people can do the same thing together. I'm of that opinion that we should encourage such a thing because sometimes some people cannot do volume. We have so many exporter certificates that are not being useful because the volume that the so said exporter can do is not more than 500 grams, maybe in a month or in six months. But if they work as a cluster, they're able to put together volume that can go out for sustainability. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so very much. Um, I see some uh, some people are making comments here. Let me see if I can read one or two. Okay, I see this from Kayode and Eri, Tom from London. It says a laudable program, sir. Two areas further to be addressed and improved upon. Number one, private sector participation needs to be uh, encouraged better, and there's a need for increased public awareness. Okay, and uh, Obodo Okechuku, please. Can you unmute him? Obodo Okechuku, and um, please correct Hello, me. good evening. Good evening, you're muted already, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for uh, gathering this uh, very important uh, meeting through Zoom. Thank you, our, our guest, uh, the chairperson from Smedan. We are grateful you are here. Please, um, uh, in your presentation, I heard about local government and states. Please, uh, in the Southeast here, uh, is there any special thing yeah, that has been done or uh, in, in, in terms of how the exporters and farmers could key in, making use of the local governments and the states? Because most of the time, we don't see all these, your endeavors, all these, your, your efforts, been manifested here. If there is any, please, uh, uh, can you please brief us? Or if there is none, please, please, can you, uh, you know, put up more effort? Because most of the time, you people that are in the, some of these parasterals, parasterals, parasterals are trying, but the governors and the local, I don't think most of them are keen into this. Please, I uh, want you to, if uh, you can double your effort, 
if there is none, so that most of these things will reach us here. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Oboro uh, Okechuku. Um, Mod AK. Mohammed. Mod is short for Mohammed. Okay, Mohammed AK, please. Uh, can you unmute him? If there's another yeah. person, quickly raise up your hand so we can attend to you together. Thank you very much, our Oga. And uh, once again, let me congratulate you for being the DG. So my concern is, um, I know you are doing your best, and I like the idea of partnering with Nigeria Export Promotion Council. Now, going further, I believe we should think of handholding when we talk of export, because most of our SMEs will don't have the capacity to do the export in such a way that they will break even. So because in the export uh, market, there is two things matters essentially, consistency. You have a product, what is the volume of your production? So what I'm trying to say is that uh, let's look at the idea of handholding. If, for example, identify a market of a particular product, we can now have one person that we can train essentially on how to collect uh, those items. Um, I mean, from those producers and then market it in large volume. So I believe it's one area that we should look at so as to be able to meet the target because most of the uh, SMEs cannot, cannot export, they don't have the quality. I mean, the and the quantity in terms of okay. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Of Fonasa Udofia. I think he's a new one. No, he's a new one. He just uh, raised his hand. Okay. Unmute yourself, please. I can't unmute. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm there. Um, okay. Thank you very much once again. And um, please, excuse me to use this word, sir. I think you are in spirit, you are a prophet, because yesterday in Port Accord, we just um, put up a small lab and a packaging center. This is a fallout of the training we did in Tanzania by International Trade Center. We came back home, we we're trying to do this, but it was not possible. But some people have decided to donate some equipment for us, packaging equipment. So I also want to say we'll be willing to collaborate with you, Mr. Boyede is aware of this. I sent the pictures to him. We've acquired a five bedroom duplex. We have acquired some equipment and we are also buying some laboratory equipment. The essence is that we want people that come to produce in a common facility center to also get their product tested. Why am I saying this? Like Mrs. Wenko said, going through this laboratory delays, I know I have put a product in protocol lab of lab that for more than six months, it did not come out. So not that we are trying to gain maybe um, glory or favor. No, sir, I actually trained in Ghana. I knew what we went through. As people that were staying in a garage, their products were exported. Whereas people that have factory in Nigeria, their product cannot even leave the shores of Nigeria. Okay. So sir, I, I, I think we are the best thing that has happened to SME of recent time. So Thank I want us to be encouraged and we are willing to partner with NAM, with uh, Smidan on that. And sir, finally, please, when are you coming to Putakot? Smithen has not done a program here for quite a long time. Even the SME, <laughs> even the uh, SME clinic has never been in Portacourt, please. I'm appealing. Mr. Buyede, you are my friend. Please let it also happen here. Okay. <laughs> I'm Thank not you so <laughs> I see I see a comment here. Hello. We can't hear you. Mrs. Um, Lady K, you are muted. Can I or mute yourself? Okay. I did not hear it. Can I respond now? Uh, I was trying to add one more before there okay. was one person that, okay. I we said have five two acres of land. We have five acres of land at Alamala in Ogun State. How can Smeda help to clear the land and get an off taker? We want to use it for farming. And the name of the person is uh, Mrs. M.F. Taiwo. Okay. So I will allow you to please. Jumping now, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I think they didn't hear me well. I didn't say Smeda we go into land clearing. I said uh, we will be approaching states 
because we know that is a major issue to come to the aid of uh, people that are going to farming and people that are having issues of land clearing. It's not something that the agency can take on. You know, the agency uh, is uh, relying on budget. We are not generating any funds. We are just uh, trying to see what ventures we can bring on board if government approves to be able to generate funds. So we don't go into land clearing, but we want to play advocacy role with some state governments. And we have been talking to one or two, I don't want to mention here, who are willing to see uh, we will build capacity. People, uh, young farmers that want to go into farming, women, youth, they are ready to assist in that area. And they were encouraging them, even if you cannot clear the land, why can't you make get tractors and uh, uh, other uh, machines that can be used to clear land and then let people get it at subsidized rates? So if you want to go and clear land, you can pay very little amount and then you can get tractors or bulldozers to use uh, on your farmland. So uh, she needs to get that uh, very clear. But we will not mind. For such people who already have land, if it is to clear it, we can play the advocacy role. Uh, like in Ogun State, we can approach the government, okay, this land is already there. People want to go into farming. How can you come in and assist? We will be willing to do that. Then Mr. Udofia, uh, we will come to Potakot very soon. I, I was to even be in River State. In fact, my plan was to join uh, this Zoom from One. But unfortunately, I want to use anywhere I go now, I use the opportunity to meet stakeholders so that I can harvest inputs into our plans. Uh, but unfortunately, the, it, it has been postponed. So um, I will get your contact from uh, Mr. Boyede so that I will let you know when we are coming to Portacourt. But fortunately, in Portacourt, we have an industrial development center. And it's one of those ones that we want to turn into workspace and common facility center for SMEs. Uh, but I'm glad you have a testing center uh, in your facility. Uh, you cannot believe that, because this is part of what we discussed yesterday in Nijo. In the whole of Aqua Ibon, there is no single testing center. They go outside the state when they have good products to go and test. So this is good information for us. I want us to engage after this meeting so that we can also pass the information across so that uh, uh, we can have people who can come and, you know, use your facilities for a fee. You let us know. And then even if it's possible, we can put it on our website at a such facility uh, in uh, uh, River State, you know. But uh, I think uh, since you have brought Mr. Boye date into it, he should be able to now broker this so that uh, we can move it forward. Um, Mr. Uh, Ogodo, I think the issue of hand-holding SMEs are part of what I said, by way of building their capacities, by identifying markets, by assisting them, you know, to meet export potentials, you know, we are glad, and that is one of the reasons why we are talking of common facility. In fact, we are also talking to packagers so that you don't have to be the one producing and packaging yourself. You can outsource packaging from packaging clusters, you know. So these are some of the things we are bringing on board. Uh, but don't forget that I'm just a month old on this desk, uh, but most of these things are part of what we want to do. And uh, like uh, Lady K said, uh, maybe in another two or three months, I'll come on board again. And then I'll be able to tell you categorically some of those things that I said that we have moved forward and tell you exactly where we are. Because I want a situation where uh, we can look back at least within the next 100 days and say this is what uh, we have been able to bring on board uh, within these few days. And I'm not talking, I'm not a politician. I mean every word I say here. So. Uh, you can take me to task uh, by the time I come on board again. Uh, the issue of uh, local government and states, what I also said is that we are playing advocacy with states so that states can come to the rescue because we can't do it alone. But I mentioned that we have a program called One Local Government, One Product, that we go into local governments, 
we identify cooperatives with the same value chain, and then we support them with machines and working capital. They pay back 70% of what we use for machinery. Uh, we write off 30%, and then we give them training. And if their products are good enough, based on our intervention, we now assist them to get markets. And that's why we want to really encourage the issue of off-takers. Uh, so that is for local government and states. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth also spoke about uh, uh, the issue of the NAFDA, uh, which we already touched on. That we can only play advocacy role as far as NAFDA is concerned. And then the credit information portal will be able to give people information on those loans that are available, non-collateral loans, and those with single digits, because most times people don't have this information. We are also thinking that with states, we'll be able to have business information centers in all local government areas so that people can walk in and the, the information center will be able to give them information that will aid their business. And like I said, our officers will be going now. Now, we don't have to wait until you come to us to provide business development support services. Uh, I think I've touched on uh, virtually all the questions, uh, but a number of them are advice, which we are going to take very seriously. One of my officers is also, uh, is also on the webinar and he's taking notes so that I will not forget that some of the things that we now need to take further moving forward after this webinar, we are going to do that. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Oh, okay, so do we still have like up to five minutes with you? Hi. I have I've already I think added really 30 minutes. Time to thank <laughs> okay, I, I want us to know so that I may lead the... Okay, no. now Femi Boyede, you want to jump in? Yes, thank you very much, um, DG. I, I understand that uh, somebody uh, who has a fire on his rooftop does not go to sleep. And uh, that's the reason why you still enlarged your large heart and gave us an extra 30 minutes. Yes. I am aware that you are supposed to be somewhere already right now. But this just goes to show that you are putting your heart where your mouth is and uh, that is with the Nigeria MSMEs. Thank you. A few things that have gone up here um, that I just want to round up in one, uh, probably one point. You mentioned uh, uh, cluster development or cluster engagement as one of your potential priority areas. Uh, Udofia talked about um, the common facility centers and how MSMEs. I remember that in the 80s, 90s, uh, when even early 2000s, when Nigeria still had a preponderance of Peugeot automobiles on our roads, I think you were with us in Paris, DG. Uh, um, that time, the uh, uh, the first DG of uh, Smedan was at that time the Minister of Solid Minerals. When we did our Nigeria, Mineral, uh, Nigeria Investment Forum in Paris, one of the sponsors of that program, if I remember in 2005, was it, was a company called Aurelic. Aurelic had established, confirmed 29% share of the Nigerian spare parts market. The Aurelic was made up of only the husband was the MD, the son was the operations and marketing manager, and the wife was the finance director. And yet, Nigerian spare parts industry in uh, uh, moto, uh, auto spare parts. So my uh, thinking and conclusion here is that everybody here has said it. It is, I think I put it in the chat room somewhere. It will be transcribed to you. It is very, very opposite and very, very effective if you explore these clusters. In the chat room, I had asked a question how Patrick members can actually be 
uh, brought together to form maybe your pilot cluster that you want to work with. We will appreciate that very much. It is possible. Uh, Mohamed Kotangura mentioned uh, the issue of aggregation. The beauty of Smidan is aggregation and um, export readiness. Is now being able to go to a Walmart that will require 1 million units of anything per week. And we not having 1 million, not one, one company, indigenous company that can produce. So if we have common facility centers or clusters or whatever we call them, even the ones that Smedan itself is thinking of doing, including revive, reviving the uh, ID, IDPs that are currently moribund. If we're able to put this together, and again, okay, let me use that as the last sentence. With your officer who is on this webinar, I think you should uh, also have, I'll be very happy to honor an invitation to that. Let's put heads together and have an action plan that comes out of this so that even if it is the Smidan Common Facility Center that NAVDAC, as suggested by Mr. Mike Udo, that NAVDAC now licenses or registers, people can come there and get their products and then we can know that there are 1,000 people who can produce to these same standards, then we can then go out and develop an export market for them. Again, on behalf of all of us, uh, especially my technical team, I want to say a very big thank you. We don't take this for granted. And just for the information also of our members, it's um, part of the discussions that I have held with the DG that is ongoing, call it pipeline, but I will be happy to announce very soon that um, uh, we'll be using this platform, maybe not on the first Saturday of every uh, month as we are doing. But what has come out now, um, I saw in the comment section, somebody actually sent me direct uh, this thing that the discussion is veering towards NAVDAC. Oh yes, it is where this, the shoe pinches that the people are complaining about. Okay. And the person that we can see right now with us, who himself said he is committed to interagency engagement. is uh, Smeda, that's the reason why they are pouring all of this on you. But when we have uh, a plurality of engagements, we will be able to actually uh, harvest all the challenges and then be able to go to the uh, NAVDAC DG and say, please, we also want to help you to, uh, uh, to develop a more friendly rapport with the industry. Please come and be educating on this platform. Come and be telling MSMEs what they need to do so that the uh, draconian challenges they are facing will no longer be there. Please, you. if you allow me, I'll continue till tomorrow. Thank you. you. Know <laughs> Thank you so very much. We truly, truly appreciate your time uh -huh. today. And we allow you to say the last word and we allow you to ask it. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone. And to say that I've noticed that some people sent in some questions, uh, which I'm not able to take on. Uh, if there is a way we can reach them through the platform, or if you have their details since they register, uh, I would like to get back to everyone who has asked one question or the other. I have been able, my staff has been screenshotting some of them to me but I really don't have time now, I have to go. But we, we, we can provide answers and see how we can collaborate because some of them are asking for collaboration with the agency for our intervention. I would really love to get back to each and every one of them. Uh, and then I've said it, Mr. Boy did not say anything. I want you to bring NAVDAC on this platform so that uh, people can actually talk to NAVDAC directly. And then we'll see what kind of. <laughs> so I think on that note, uh, I want to leave and I will be glad to be part of this again uh, when I'll be ready to even have two hours or more to interact. Because honestly, I like taking this feedback. You know, it's really, it will help us. Uh, because if we are only doing programs from the supply side and we're not hearing from people, and we are not making any impact. So I really appreciate this kind of forum. 
And like Mr. Boye did trying to hint, uh, we are committed to starting uh, something, a kind of webinar, we'll be addressing MSME issues, bringing experts, and uh, we will do this uh, uh, just like yesterday, uh, because I am really committed to it. Uh, that will roll out very soon, and we'll welcome you people coming to tell us as it is. Let us know where the shoe pinches you, so that we'll be able to uh, solve the ones that we can solve and reach out to those that can solve the ones that we cannot solve. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, sir. You are uh, with the right platform. Uh, we have more than enough access to the people that you really need to work with, and we are happy to work with you. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah. Femi Boyede, are you there? I'm very, very here okay. at your service. Okay, so you want to take some of the um, questions and, and not I'm really not questions, I just, uh, we have some comments and uh, acknowledge um, Belo Ramat Duwap from Women Chamber of Commerce, Mines and Industry. Thank you for joining. She wants to know how um, they can partner with Smeda. I think these are questions um, and comments that we go back to them, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, anyone has any question or? Okay, there's another one. Yeah, this is still about Smeda and the Musa Dick Abdul wants to know how Smeda can collaborate with small and medium sized farmers association to create commodity market to create volumes. I think you, you already addressed that. Yeah, but he is also asking the second part of this in the chat box, how can Smedan ensure containers that brought goods to uh, cast to Nigeria not return empty? Can mm -hmm. they help group or cooperative to take advantage? And I would say, uh, while not being the authority, I will uh, dare to opine, to offer my opinion that it is not Smidan. The agency with the responsibility for development and promotion of export from Nigeria is the Nigeria Export Promotion Council. And we had the, um, M the executive director, CEO of that agency with us, I think two webinars back, and he has also opened his doors to participants from this, our webinar. So if you want uh, have any specific ideas that you want to bounce off him, please feel free to uh, reach out to us. We will pass that on. However, Smedan, as explained by the DG, has also established an export development unit. And the way that they, are, uh, they will work, that will make it, uh, what we call it, seamless, so that there will be no accusation of poaching or usurping another agency's work, is what the DG explained, collaboration. So Smidan will not be answering questions about how they are going to fill up containers. Smidan will be doing everything that the DG said today in his presentation to support MSME capacity to produce more to understand the logistics more and to access the market. That way, those containers will no longer be going empty. That's just my own uh, way. Your question will still get to the DG anyway. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you so very much. How can we benefit from facilities you are talking about? That's Olubukola uh, in your she Which facility? She said, thank you so much, sir, for your yes, question. Yes, I don't know whether it is, that question is to what I have just said or what uh, Mr. Fasson has said before he left, because I can't remember talking about any available facilities. Just Okay, Olu Bukola Enola, do you want to ask your question? We can, I, I can't I can hear you. Are you there trying to talk or something? 
Can you please unmute uh, Olubukola and Yola? Hello, Olubukola and Yola. Mm -hmm. Good if, I, if I could also yes, offer. Um... She's here. Okay. Please ask your question. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Please, uh, we appreciate all your, your plan for us, SMA. We thank you for your passion for us. So I want to know how we can be a beneficiary of the, all the plans you have for us. Sir. We will send that to the DG now. Pardon? I think the question is actually directed at the DG of Facility. Smeda. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so just like I just said, we will pass this question on. And um, I think uh, Mr. Onesi and Mr. Audrey are uh, on this call. Is, um, as is, they are harvesting this question and sending. But I also want to say, I don't know, maybe you came in a bit late because in his presentation, he explained each facility and what the strategies are. Again, in his rounding off comment, he already informed you that uh, very soon, very, very soon, we'll be having um, a new channel of uh, engagement directly um, sensitizing MSMEs and um, participants of uh, talking trade about how they can access and enjoy the programs and the support instruments of SMIDA. So please be on the lookout. And if you are on our WhatsApp group, you will definitely be getting the information. I will. So uh, we have the YouTube account, we have the Facebook account, and we have the WhatsApp that is very engaging. You may want to look at the links, click on the links for you to be able to join, especially the WhatsApp. If you click on the link, it will take you directly to our WhatsApp group. Yeah. I can see Ramat is saying yes. Thank you, girls joined. Yes, we're on Facebook. Yes, thank you very much.